Hello and welcome to Working Horses with Jim. I decided to go see what Jim was up to. He is dragging the driveway, which is one of those things that he does every spring to help get things dried out when it's muddy and just to smooth out the driveway from all the ruts that might have formed over the winter. Today we have Earl and Ken working on the drags. Earl is the nigh horse, the one on the, my left, the red colored horse. He is a Suffolk punch gelding. He is three years old. I have been trading him for quite some time now and he is doing great. Um, Ken is the older black horse on the other side, on the off side, my right hand side. And they are doing a great job of dragging this driveway which really needed it because it was really rough. It's just amazing at this time of year how dry it is. Um, it's still wet but it's still quite dry for this time of year because we just have not had the snow and the moisture that we do have sometimes. It's a very, very windy day, as you can hear, and we didn't put our audios on this morning, so it's difficult to talk while we're working, but uh, um, so I apologize for not getting our audio on and making it clearer when we're trying to talk in the video. So that was the neck yoke that we had lost a month ago now, and there it showed up just as we were dragging the driveway. I'm curious if any of you guys noticed, I had noticed when I was going back through and watching this video, that uh, the time before I actually saw the neck yoke being dragged up, and but I didn't see it while it actually happened. It just, it was not until I saw the video. Did anyone else see it? So here we are actually out in the last year's cornfield, I decided to make a few passes up through the field, even now, because it's dry enough. I didn't go very long with Earl, though, because it was really hard going on him, being a young animal like that and not in shape. But I did decide to even come out in the afternoon with 
Bill and Baron, and we went around the field a few times to start the process of the spring work, which is the earliest I've ever been in the fields to do spring work. So Earl's exercise and training is done for the day. I am going to attempt to back him into the barn. He's done this a couple times and he does okay, but as you can see in watching his, the way he acts, he's got a bit of a stubbornness to him and uh, he really doesn't want to do this job, but I and can kind of force him to do the job and, and he does all right, but he still has a lot to learn. William is getting ready to go home. Right now we are out of electricity, so it might be hard to see. But he's just harnessing up to Junior. It is a super cold, blustery day here. He's got a load of, uh, he's got a load of hay he's taken home with him on his wagon. William, what kind of horse is Junior again? Uh, standard bred Frisian. Standard bred and Frisian.
Okay, so that's how we get the lumber up on that wagon. So now we're gonna hitch up some horses and pull this wagon out and uh, uh, pile it up so we can get it shipped. So William has Lady and Ken all ready to go. So he's gonna bring them out and hitch onto the cart. I don't know which way he's gonna hitch on the cart, whether he backs them in or drives them in, doesn't matter to me. So let's see how he does it. Guess he's gonna drive them all the pole. The other day he actually backed them all the way in, which is fine. But to me, it's a little easier to drive them all the pole like this right here. Ken usually steps over the pole so nicely, so it works good. So we'll get them hitched up and then we'll hitch onto this wagon and get this out of here. Stay right there, William. I'll get the neck yoke. Okay. And you can get the tug. Neck yoke I had made up. I'm still not really pleased with it. 
course, now that we found the one that we lost, we could use that here, but I don't know. We may just leave that one on it. Get used to one thing, you know, might as well just leave it as is. So we'll bring these two out and get you onto this wagon. more that way. Actually that's good right there. That will work fine. Pull the pin and uh, just tie them up to the truck body and we'll get the skid steer going and pile some lumber. So William's throwing his hand it backing up the four wheel wagon. So we got all that lumber off. Here's what we have. We have a little bit of red rot in these boards here. So they're gonna have to go to a different market. And then this pile here is actually one band, one pack down here. See, we banded it up and uh, that's is 800 board feet in that one pack actually. It's uh, eight tiers high, layers high. And so now we'll finish up this one and uh, it should be somewhere about the same amount of wood. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a great day. Two more two by sixes. Mm -hmm. 